Real roots of quadratic function. Without finding the roots, determine how many real roots the quadratic equations has. So we are given four different quadratic equations and you need to figure out how many real roots will there be for a given equation. So the first one is y equals to 2x times x plus 1. The second is y equals to minus 3 times x minus 7 to the power of 2 plus 18. Third is 2x squared plus 8 and the fourth one is 5 plus 2 times x plus 1 plus 3. That means 5 plus 3 is 8. We can combine it, right? And here we should have square. Okay, so these are the four different equations for us. Now let's start one by one. So this is in factored form. So how many roots will it have? It will have two roots. One will be at x equals to 0 and the other at x equals to minus 1. Anyway, the question is how many real roots? We'll say two real roots, right? So when an equation is given in factored form, it's kind of easy. You can place y equals to 0 and you know each factor resulting to 0 gives you a real root. Now the second equation is in the vertex form. Minus says that the parabola is going to open downwards, right? So this minus means the parabola is going to open downwards. And plus 18 means that the vertex is a positive 18 at 7. So the point is 7, 18. Now since it is positive and it opens downwards, it will definitely have two roots, right? It will cross x axis at two points. Therefore in this case also, we have two real roots. Now this one is 2x squared plus 8. Here the parabola opens upwards. So in this case the parabola is opening upwards. The vertex is at x equals to 0 and y equals to 8. Now 8 is positive and if the parabola opens upwards it is not going to cross the x-axis. Therefore in this particular case we have zero roots, right? No real roots. In the last case, 5 plus 3 is 8. So that means we have the vertex at minus 1, 8. And since 5 plus 3 is positive 8, the parabola is going to open upwards, resulting in zero roots. So no real roots. Now, can you give me an equation of a parabola which will have one real root? Let's make one, right? So, one real root is possible if we have an equation like y equals to x minus 1 whole square, kind of, right? So, here the vertex itself is on the x-axis and we have two zeros there. So, it's one real root, correct? So, that is how you can have equations with one two or no real roots. Thank you.